vectors. Uh, let's start with Cartesian coordinate system. In Cartesian coordinates, so here x and y coordinates. So this is x and this is y. If we have a point here, the coordinate for this point is x and y. In such a way, x this, x here is the intercept with the x axis and y here is the intercept with the uh, y axis. So if the intercept here, let's assume that it's equal to 3 and the intercept here is y is equal to uh, 4. In this case, x equal to uh, 3 and y equal to uh, 4. If a point located uh, here and the coordinates for this point it's x and y in such a way y here equal to minus let's say 4 and here equal to minus uh, 4 as well so in this case x equal to minus 4 and y equal to minus 4 okay so this is the coordinate uh, the Cartesian coordinates and uh, it's sometimes called rectangular uh, coordinates uh, another useful coordinate is the polar coordinates. In polar coordinates, we represent a point by two coordinates. It's R and theta, the position R and uh, theta. So if we have here an X and Y coordinates here, now a point here. So this is R and this is theta. So R in this case here equal to square root of x square plus y square and theta here equal to if we have here right angle triangle so it's equal to uh, or tan theta let's say here it's the opposite divided by the adjacent so it's equal to y over x or theta here equal to tan inverse y over x uh, it's very important here to uh, mention that theta, theta here is measured from positive x-axis counterclockwise. So theta is measured here. This is theta here. It's measured from positive x-axis counterclockwise. This is theta. Let's take another example. If we have here x and y coordinates, here x and y, and this is r. So if this is phi, let's name it phi here, equal to 45 degree. In this case, represent this in polar coordinates. So r and this one here, let's say equal to uh, minus uh, 3 and minus uh, 4. So r in this case here equal to square root of minus 3 square plus minus 4 square which equal to in this case square root of 25 equal to 5. So the magnitude here of r equal to uh, 5 uh, units. Now theta here equal to now, as we mentioned before, theta is measured from positive x-axis, positive x-axis, counterclockwise here. So theta here equal to 270 minus 45 degrees or equal to 225 degrees. So this is uh, theta. Now we need to learn how to switch between Cartesian to uh, polar or from polar to uh, Cartesian. Let's do this. So if we have here a right angle triangle, like this one here, R, and this is theta here, and this is X, and this is Y. So R equal to square root of X square plus Y square, and tan theta equal to y over x. As we can see here, we switch from polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. 
But if we need to switch from, Cart from uh, Cartesian to polar coordinates, let's do this. Cosine theta equal to x over r. Let's do this here. Cosine theta equal to x over r. In this case, x equal to r cosine theta. And sine theta, here sine theta, equal to y over r. In this case, y equal to r sine theta. And remember, these equations are uh, used to uh, transfer from Cartesian to polar uh, coordinates. Let's have uh, uh, example. Let's see example here. If we have uh, Cartesian coordinates for the point, for a point minus three and a half and minus two and a half in this one, this one Cartesian coordinate, transform these two points into polar coordinates. So let's just quick represent these two points here. So minus three and a half, it's somewhere, it's in the x axis somewhere here, and minus two and a half, it's somewhere here. So this is minus three and a half, minus two and a half. And this is here equal to r, this one here. And remember, theta is measured from positive x-axis counterclockwise. It's like this one here. So this is theta. So to find the polar coordinates that are equivalent to this, these two points, r in this case equal to square root of three and a half, minus square plus minus two and a half uh, square which equal to 4.3 uh, units and tan theta equal to y over x in this case here theta equal to tan, tan inverse y over x which equal to in this case 216 degree let's double check uh, theta it's in the third quarter yes it is there and r h equal to 4.3 uh, units now quantities in physics divided into two types scalar quantity and vector quantity Scalar quantities that can I identified by its magnitude, just a magnitude. Example, age, length, time, temperature, volume, distance, mass, etc. As we can see from these examples here, uh, we only need a magnitude for these uh, quantities, no other direction whatsoever. But vector quantities in order to identify these quantities we need two things their magnitude and direction so it's not enough to mention the magnitude we need also a direction for that uh, uh, quantity uh, example displacement uh, another example here uh, velocity uh, acceleration force etc let's focus here on uh, vector quantities so let's start with vector notations. Uh, some textbooks adopts this notation, a letter like this, and an arrow above that letter. Uh, other textbooks or references adopt the this one here, this notation here. It's like a bold letter, like this here. So this one here represents a vector uh, quantity. It's whether, other, whether it's like a, a letter and uh, an arrow above that letter or a bold letter like this. Wherever you see this here, it means the magnitude for this uh, quantity. Remember, the magnitude, it's always positive. So magnitude is positive. Example, a particle moves along the path. Let's have this one here. This is the path here from A to B. In this case here, dashed line represents the distance 
and it is scalar quantity now the displacement is the solid line between point A and B so the displacement let's name it delta x here equal to x2 is the final position minus x1 as you can see here in displacement we only need two points the beginning and the end uh, points that's it okay and again as we mentioned before displacement is a vector vector quantity now vector properties let's have one here two vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude and same direction we have vector a here and vector b here so a as a vector equal to b as a vector if magnitude of a equal to magnitude of b and theta is the same for both a and b example question here we have this equation here vector a plus vector b equal to zero the information that we can we get from this let's see here vector a plus vector b equal to zero which means vector a equal to minus vector b now if we calculate the magnitude so the magnitude of vector a again as you mentioned before it's always positive equal to the magnitude of b so in this case here the magnitude of vector a is equal to the magnitude of vector b but here the direction of a is different than the direction of b uh, as a matter of fact here uh, the direction of a is opposite to the direction of uh, b so if a goes this direction here like this one this one here so b will be something like uh, uh, this now let's talk about adding vectors or vector addition so vector addition we can use two different techniques so graphical method or mathematical method let's start with the graphical method in order to adapt graphical method you have to be extra careful uh, if, and you also need to use proper tools like a ruler and the protractor in order to uh, to uh, add two vectors example let's just try this one here vector a here equal to four units and directed this way here vector b equal to three units and directed this way here now to use graphical method follow these steps draw the now find let's just find a plus b now to find a plus b start with the vector a and draw same length same direction for the uh, vector a now for drawing b in this case from the head of vector a draw the tail of vector b so this one here this one here so this one a and this one b tail to tail head to head like this one here the resultant vector it's c if you draw this one with extra careful and use the proper tools uh, using the ruler we can measure this c here with the ruler and we can find theta here with the protractor again we have to be extra careful uh, while doing uh, this 
Now let's have another example. If we have vector A, something like this, vector B, something like this, vector C, something like this, and vector D, something like this, find, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, find A plus B plus C plus D. In order to find A plus B plus C plus D, uh, so start with, with vector, let's say vector A, draw same length, same direction. Now from the head of vector A, draw vector B. So this is A, same length here, same direction for uh, B. Now draw C here, let's C here and draw D here. Tail to tail, head to head is the resultant vector. So draw the resultant vector and let's name it E in this case. So A plus B plus C plus D equal to vector A. Again, if we use proper tools and draw this with extra careful, we can measure E with the ruler and find the direction here for this uh, vector or the resultant vector uh, E. Rules we have to uh, follow in order to uh, add uh, vectors. First rule here, all vectors must have the same units, units here. They also have, must have say the same type, type. Okay, same time, so you cannot add a displacement to uh, velocity. What if we need to subtract vectors? So example, what if we need A minus B? A minus B, it's actually a vector addition. So we can represent this as A plus minus B or A plus B prime as a vector here. So A minus B here, if we use the previous example here, so minus B, if B, this one here, this is B. So if B this way here, minus B, it's the same vector magnitude, but in the opposite direction, it's like this one here. So in this case, to represent the previous example, A, draw a vector A here. From the head, from the head of A, draw tail of B, which is P prime in this case here. Now tail to tail, head to head, it's the resultant vector. Uh, C in this case. Again, if we use if we use the ruler and protractor in graphical method, so use the ruler find the vector C, the length of C, and with the protractor find phi. This is not theta. Now theta here equal to 360 minus phi, which is in this case this one here. Remember theta is measured from positive x-axis counter. Uh, clockwise. Uh, As we can see here, uh, adopting graphical method, it's not that easy because you have to be more careful, have to have uh, proper tools, so it's not that easy. So let's adopt a more convenient way. It's a mathematical uh, technique or mathematical method. So mathematical method, 
let's solve the previous example so find a plus b a plus b if a equal to four units and direct it this way and b equal to three units and direct it this way to find a plus b you just draw a rough graph no need to be careful in this one just a rough uh, graph here and tail to tail head to head this one here it's uh, c vector c here so if this is a four and b equal to three okay in this case here now uh, as we can see it's right angle triangle c here in magnitude equal to square root of four square plus three square equal to square root of 25 equal to 5 and tan theta equal to y over x which equal to tan theta 3 over 4 or theta equal to tan inverse 3 over 4 or theta 37 degree. Uh, now let's find a minus b here. Again, just quick graph, graph here. This is a, this is b, and this is c. We will see that c doesn't change at all. So c equal to square root of 4 square. 3 square which equal to 5 not change at all but theta equal to tan inverse in this case if this is not theta by the way it's 5 this is 5 equal to tan inverse y which is 3 over 4 and equal to uh, 37 again theta is measured from positive x-axis counterclockwise so theta here equal to 360 minus uh, 5 or in this case equal to theta equal to 323 uh, degree another important property we have to uh, we will discuss here is the uh, multiplying or dividing a vector by scalar quantity if we have uh, vector a equal to 5 units and that is this way 2a in this case will be equal to 10 and the length so it's like this one here will be doubled like this one here now again 3a it's the same it will be trebled and if we divide a by 2 in this case so in this uh, it will be two and a half and the length will be short like this one here but if we multiply a by minus two let's say minus two a so the magnitude will be the same it's equal to 10 but the direction will be something like this will be doubled but in the opposite uh, now components of a vector now in order to uh, represent the components of a vector it's uh, useful to use rectangular component or Cartesian coordinates for a vector so if you have here it's a vector a vector a here I'm making some angle theta here the projection of this vector a on the x-axis it's called ax and the projection of this vector here a on the y-axis is equal to a uh, now ax and ay is actually a vectors and follow the same rules of uh, vectors but uh, let's see just here and their magnitude will be ax and a y here and it's mentioned like components of vector 
vector a so ax here ax here equal to a cosine theta and a y equal to a sine theta vector a here equal to a x as a y now the magnitude of vector a it's equal to square root of a x square a y square and theta equal to tan inverse a y a x uh, remember this the components can be positive or uh, negative if we just draw this one here this one here this one so a x and a y both positive but in this quarter here a x negative a y positive and this one here uh, both a x positive uh, sorry negative and a y negative let's just see here negative and in this quarter here a x positive and a y negative and the sign of the components depends on the angle let's identify the unit vectors unit vectors are dimensionless vectors with magnitude equal one so it's a dimensionless vector uh, with magnitude equal to uh, one they are used to specify direction so unit vectors it's a dimensionless vector with magnitude one and they have no other uh, physical uh, meaning they specify the uh, specify the direction uh, the symbols for unit vectors it's i hat j hat k hat some other text box uh, adopt x hat y hat uh, z hat but in our uh, uh, lecture here uh, we'll adopt i j uh, k now i j k unit vectors the magnitude is one and uh, i direct towards the x axis j towards the y axis and uh, k towards the uh, z axis and remember they are perpendicular to each other so this is i and this is j here and this is uh, k k here now back to uh, the components vector components so a x here rather than writing it in this way we can write it like uh, this one here it's a x i hat and a y here equal to a y j hat and a z here equal to a z k hat if we have a z uh, direction so a here can be represented as a x i a y j a z k that's it now as a matter of fact it's more convenient to work with uh, unit vectors here so if we have a vector b example here so it will be bx i hat by j hat and bz k hat so to find a plus b here equal to the resultant vector r equal to you just add the same uh, components here with the same uh, direction so you just add a x here plus a uh, b x in the same direction here i and uh, a y plus uh, b y j hat and a z 
plus bz k k hat and r in this case equal to square root of rx square ry square the three dimension rz square and if it's two dimension here theta equal to uh, tan inverse again if it's two dimension here tan, uh, tan inverse r y over r x example now a hiker begins a trip and walk 25 kilometers so let's say 25 kilometers southeast so if we draw here and this is north here this is east this is south and this is west and if uh, a hiker walks 25 kilometers southeast southeast it means 45 degrees between south and east so it's like this one here and he, she moves like 25 kilometers and making 45 degree here in the second day on the second day she moves uh, 40 kilometers 40 kilometers in a direction 60 degree north of east so this is the north and this east here so she's already standing on the east and moves toward the, the north so i'll just click here and this one here so she moves 40 kilometers like something like this here and making 60 degree north north of east if east is here and north is in here and this is 40 kilometers okay find the displacement so the displacement as we mentioned before we only need the starting point which is this one here and the end point which is this one here so this is the displacement r here to find r r we uh, we cannot actually working with vectors uh, in the xy plane and uh, in this one here we have to uh, work with their components the component of uh, uh, the first vector and the component for the second vector let's name them a and b so in order to work with uh, this professionally let's do this table so this is here x component and this is y component and this is vector a and this is vector b and this is vector r so the x component the x component for vector a so this is vector a the x component if we analyze it's uh, this one here the projection for this vector here on the x axis each equal to 25 uh, cosine 45 and remember the one with the angle takes the cosine the one without the angle takes the sine uh, and it's our responsibility here to uh, find or to check the direction of the arrow so it's going to this one here after we analyze it it's going to the positive so it will be positive here the y component here was this one here the y component is equal to uh, 25 sine uh, 45 here but the uh, head of the vector a directed downward here it will be uh, negative now we need to work also to, to analyze vector uh, b here so vector b the x component for vector b it's equal to 40 okay cosine 60 uh, again uh, the head of the arrow it's going to positive direction and this one 40 sine uh, 60 and again the head of the arrow goes to the positive uh, direction uh, doing the math for this one here we will find this one is equal to 17.7 uh, 
again it's the same thing 17.7 with the negative uh, uh, sign uh, here and this one here uh, equal to uh, 20 uh, uh, kilometers and this one here equal to 34.6 uh, kilometer now if we add this one here uh, with this one here it will be will give you uh, the rx so r equal rx here equal to um, 37.7 and ry here equal to uh, uh, 16 so rx which is the um, the component for the resultant the x component for the resultant vector and ry is the uh, y component for the resultant uh, vector so r in magnitude equal to square root of square root of uh, 37.7 square plus 16.9 square which equal to in this case 41.3 r as a vector equal to uh, 37.7 i hat plus 16.9 j hat and theta here equal to tan inverse y over x so 16.9 divided by 37.9 this one uh, here okay and you do the math here theta equal to 24.1 degree let's double check here if we go back here the theta has to be in the first quarter yes it is and as expected now let's discuss vector multiplication vector multiplication divided into two types here scalar product and or dot product and vector product or cross product let's start with scalar product or dot product so the notation will be a dot b equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cosine theta in such a way theta is the angle between a and a and b so to find a vector product between two vectors uh, we just uh, find the magnitude for the first vector the magnitude for the second vector and cosine uh, multiply by the cosine the angle between these two uh, vectors now now a dot b plus c as a vector here so we just distribute a on b and c it's equal to a dot b plus a dot c example a equal 3i minus 2j plus 2k b as a vector here equal to 2i plus 5j minus 2k find a dot b to find a dot b we need to again when you multiply two vectors here the answer is a scalar uh, quantity so we need to find i dot i i dot j i dot k 
j.i.j.j.j.k, k.i, k.j, k.k. Now, before doing this, let's find i.i. So i.i, it's the magnitude of i, same rule as in here, this one, magnitude of i, magnitude of i, cosine theta, and theta is the angle between i and i, which is in this case equal to zero, cosine zero equal to one, and the magnitude of i, as we mentioned before, equal to uh, one, and uh, in this case, i dot i equal to one, j dot j, same thing, equal to one, k dot k, equal to one, uh, i dot j, in this case, the angle between i and j is 90 degree, in this case, cosine 90 equal to zero, so equal to zero, i dot k equal to zero, uh, j dot k equal to zero. So in this case here, when you multiply, when scalar product vector A with vector B, we only multiply uh, I with I, J with J, K with K. No uh, need to uh, over uh, multiply things uh, uh, together here. So uh, A dot B, A dot B, again, the answer is scalar quantity. It's equal to six. When we multiply three here by two, it's uh, equal to six plus minus two multiplied by five, it's minus 10 here and uh, minus four, which is two plus, multiplied by minus uh, two. Now minus 14 plus six equal to minus eight. Remember, it's a scalar quantity, this one here. What if we need to uh, multiply b dot a? Again, the answer will be 6 plus minus 10 uh, minus 4, which equal to minus a. Okay, in this case, yeah, let's, let's just see here. In this case, a dot b equal to b dot a. Okay, so you can interchange between A and B or B and A. a. What if we need to calculate the angle between A and B? Yes, cosine theta equal to A dot B. We just calculated this one here. Magnitude of A, magnitude of B, which in this case equal to minus 8 divided by uh, vector A, let's just move here, equal to square root of 9 plus 4 plus 4, square root of 4 plus 25 plus 4, or cosine theta equal to minus 8 divided by, this one here, it's 17, square root of 17, and this one here, square root of uh, 29, 33. So theta equal to cosine inverse this guy here. As another example, B. A as a vector here, given 5i, 2j, 2k, b as a vector equal to 2i. To find the angle between them, first we need to find a dot b. And remember, we only multiply i with i, j with j, k with k. But in this case, there is no j or k on the uh, vector b. So it's very simple here. It's 5 multiplied by 2, it's equal to just uh, 10. And remember, when you dot product two vectors, the answer is a scalar uh, quantity. Now, the magnitude of A here equal to square root of 25, 4, 4, so square root of 3, 33, 
and magnitude of B equal to square root of 4 or 2. So everything is set here. So cosine theta equal to uh, 10 divided by square root of 33 square root of 2 which equal to in this case theta equal to 64 degree example here if we have vector a equal to 5i plus 2j now if we doubled vector a so it will be equal to this one 10i plus 4j so clearly all the magnitude for vector a is doubled now tan theta equal to 2 over 5 before we doubled 2 over 5 and after we double tan theta equal to 4 over 10 which equal to 2 over 5 so if we double okay, each component of a vector okay the magnitude will be doubled but the angle the angle will not now let's move to a cross product or vector product when you cross it's just here cross product a cross b when you cross product two vectors a cross b here the answer is a new vector C perpendicular to both A and B. So when you cross product two vectors, the answer is a new vector per perpendicular to uh, both vectors A and uh, B. So in this case here, A cross B equal to magnitude of A, B sine the angle between A and uh, B. Again, here, A cross B does not equal to B cross A. As a matter of fact, A cross B equal to minus B uh, cross A. So if you have vector A here equal to AX, I, AY, J, AZ, A, here, this one here and b here equal to bx i by j and bz k find a cross b in this case here so in this case we have to distribute ax on both on bx and by and bz ay on this and this and this and AZ on this, on this, and this. So obviously, nine components will uh, be uh, the, the, will be the results. So just nine components: one, here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. Before doing this or distribute this one here, let's just find I cross I. So I cross I based on this rule here. It's equal to the magnitude of i which is 1 and the magnitude of i it's equal to 1 and sine theta theta is the angle between i and i which is 0 sine 0 0 so i cross i actually it's equal to uh, 0 j cross j equal to uh, again 0 and k cross k equal to uh, 0 now i cross j i cross j again when you cross product two vectors when you cross product two vectors the answer is a new vector perpendicular 
to them. So in this case, i cross j, the new vector perpendicular to i and j, it's just k here. And i cross uh, j cross k equal to i and k cross i equal to j. But what will happen if we find j cross i equal to minus k and uh, k cross j equal to uh, minus i and i cross k equal to uh, minus j. So instead of or rather than having nine components, we, only, we will only have six components. Example, a as a vector equal to 2i, 2j, 2k, b as a vector equal to 3i minus 2j minus 2k. Find a cross b. So 2 multiply by uh, this one, this one here is 0. So 2 multiply by minus 2 equal to this one here minus 4 i cross j equal to k. Now this one with this one here minus 4 i with k it's minus j. Now this one with this one here equal to 6 j with i equal to minus k. So this one has to be minus k and j um, my 2 with minus 2 it's minus 4 minus 4 i j with k it's equal to i k with i equal to uh, plus j and uh, this one here with this one here it's minus 4 k with j equal to minus i this one here if you do this correctly uh, we just add this one with this one here, this one with uh, this one here, and this one here with this one here. So this one with this one will equal to minus 10. Okay. And this one with this one here, e uh, this one, sorry, with this one here, equal to 10. Okay. And uh, what else? This one here with this one equal to zero i so a cross b equal to this one here again this rule here it's some kind of uh, not easy to deal with especially with positive and negative signs in this one here so let's uh, learn a new technique i think it's much easier than this one uh, in this case uh, to find a cross b you just draw a determinant here in the top row you just write i j k on the second row is the component of the first vector so in this case the component for the vector a equal to 2 2 2 and the third row is the component for the third uh, vector 3 minus 2 minus 2 Okay, now A cross B. You do this. You cover this row and this column. When you cover this row and this column, okay, the common between the row and column, it's I. So just write I here. Okay, you multiply this with this one here lower right upper left this one here one minus lower left upper right this is two so minus two multiply by two it's minus four minus minus two multiply by two it's minus four okay now as a determinant rule the second term has to be negative again cover this row here and cover this column 
here. Again, the common component here is J. So it will be J here. Now, again, same rule. This one with this one, you multiply lower right with upper left, lower left with upper right. Okay, and this is one, and this is two. Minus four, minus six. The third component, it will be positive. You cover first row, you cover third column, and the common one here, it's K, okay, and again, you multiply this one with this one, then you subtract it from this one with this one here. So minus 2 multiplied by 2, it's minus 4, minus uh, 6. You just simply do this one here, it's 0, uh, plus 10J, uh, minus 10K. Again, it's the same answer as we got uh, uh, before. Okay, this is 10, it's not actually, obviously we just made a mistake here. It's 10 uh, J plus 10 J, yes. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy this uh, lecture.